I had a friend in high school who exhibited what we thought was very strange behavior. The pens and pencils on his desk always had to be lined up from shortest to longest, and when we played Monopoly, the piles of money were always aligned so meticulously that no bill could stick out. Numerous times during a game, he would make sure that the piles were perfect, and he would also repeatedly reach over to the bills in the bank in the center of the board to square them up. This became so aggravating that we would on purpose disrupt the piles to annoy him. Then we would watch as he obviously struggled to show no annoyance, but finally he just couldn't help it and straightened the bank. We didn't realize it at the time, but he suffered from a disorder characterized by constant intrusive thoughts called obsessions and the need to perform specific compulsive actions, such as straightening things. Since then, I have learned a fair bit about obsessive compulsive disorder, and it seems that unknowingly we were actually carrying out a form of treatment called cognitive behavioral therapy, in which an afflicted person learns to cope with the disorder by repeated exposure to situations that trigger the behavior. OCD has been the subject of much research because the condition can disrupt lives, such as having to repeatedly check if a stove has been turned off or a door has been locked. Despite knowing full well that the stove is off and the door is locked, because both have been checked numerous times. Intrusive thoughts about unsanitary toilet seats, contaminated food, or possible exposure to infectious organisms from other people can be terribly upsetting. Researchers have come up with a number of interesting findings, but no cure has emerged. Serotonin reuptake inhibitors, the so-called SSRIs, drugs used to treat depression, can be of some help. Higher levels of the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate and lower levels of gamma-aminobutanoic acid have been detected in the brains of OCD sufferers, but this has not led to any treatment. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, a technique that applies electromagnets to the scalp in specific locations helps some people, as does a more invasive technique through electrodes inserted deep within certain parts of the brain. The anesthetic ketamine and the hallucinogen psilocybin are also being explored as possible forms of treatment. Perhaps the most interesting finding is that a disturbance of the gut microbiome may play a role in OCD. When bacteria from the feces of humans who have OCD are transplanted into mice, the animals begin to exhibit repetitive behavior and signs of anxiety. But as we always have to say, mice are not men. Still, this means that manipulation of the microbiome is worth exploring in the case of people afflicted with OCD. Maybe we should have offered my friend yogurt instead of the fudgicles we used to eat while playing Monopoly. That for today is our cup of joe.